So automation makes a lot of things easier in our life. So why not make your streaming life easier with macros? Let's jump into the lab. So macros is an extension available in Expert Broadcaster. If you don't have it installed, go to the plugin store, search for macros and install it. The first time you run it, you might have to actually give it permissions for it to run properly and then you're ready to go. All right, so what are macros? So macros are basically scripts or a series of actions that are triggered by an event. So basically when you create a macro, you create an event that it's looking for. So like the down press of a key or the certain level of a volume meter, but basically when this event or condition is met, it'll trigger an action. So an action is making the program do something. So it can switch to a scene, start or stop a recording, and you can have multiple macros going on at the same time. You can even write custom scripts for macros. But the most important thing is when your macro is ready and set up to enable the event listener. The event listener will actually make that macro active. Otherwise, you can also just test the macro to see if it's working as well. So we're actually going to go through a couple samples of macros. Like I can't demonstrate everything that's possible with macros because the possibilities are really endless. So let's look at a couple of sample scenarios. So if you're producing a live event or a live show, it's really important to hit your cue points, especially when it comes to ad breaks, you really don't want to mess up things for the sponsors. So if you're running a bunch of sponsored videos during your break, what you want to do is set up a macro for this. So set up a hot key macro first. So when you press a key down or key up, whichever you like, it'll switch to the scene with the ad videos that are playing. And then you're going to want to set up another macro so that when this ad video stops or when it's over, so basically when the media source stops, it's going to switch to another scene. So this is the scene that you get back into when you're done with the break. And if you're running a bunch of ad videos, I recommend just editing them together into one single video. That way this macro works pretty easily. And you can even get a little bit more fancy with it. You can add more things to it. Like you can say, you know, go to an intro video after the ad break, whatever you want, you can go crazy with it. So sometimes when you're working an event or a project for a client, there is a start time that you need to hit. Like no matter if the stream or show is ready, you need to start at a specific time. So what you can do is actually set up a macro that on schedule time, it'll start the stream and it'll actually switch to a specific scene and then start the stream. So what you want to do is set up like a safety scene, like a standby scene or we'll be live soon or starting soon scene. Set up that scene, set up the macro that at this specific time, it'll switch to that scene then maybe wait like half a second and then actually go live on the stream. So that way you hit your target time that you need to go live. All right, so one of the mistakes I've made so many times during an event is forgetting to start recording while I'm also streaming. So a lot of times you have to promise a client like a raw file or a high quality file because, you know, the stream quality isn't the best. It's really compressed. But if you forget to start recording and you're streaming, you might only have that stream archive, which isn't the best quality or even worse, if the stream goes down and you didn't record, now you've lost all that footage. So what you want to set up is another hotkey style macro. So basically when you press a key, it starts the stream and it starts recording. And this is really useful if you're going to be streaming to multiple sites. So maybe you have like four different streams or three different recordings. You hit that and they all start at the same time. All right. I'm pretty sure you've seen the IRL streamers that have the IRL streaming backpacks. And the way these work is it basically sends an RTMP feed to a cloud PC running streaming software. So that way when the backpack maybe loses cell phone signal service, the stream just doesn't die. It still keeps encoding and it maybe switches to like a standby scene. So the way this works is you set up a macro for when a stream source is online or offline, right? And once it watches for that, it'll basically, you know, switch to a certain scene. So when it's online, you switch it to, of course, the RTMP feed stream that the backpack is sending. And when it's offline, you set it to a standby scene. And this is actually really useful. It's kind of like a relay system if you need to make sure the stream is always online. So if you have like an RTMP server, right? You send to that RTMP server, then you have like, let's say a cloud PC pull from that RTMP feed, and then it's encoding out to the stream. And then it has that same macro so that if your feed gets cut, the stream stays live, it just switches to the standby scene. Really helpful tool for making sure you're always online. So that's just a few ways you can actually use macros. Like the possibilities are really endless. And if you want to try any of the macros that I mentioned in this video, I'll actually leave a link in the description. You can download the macro files and tweak them however you want. And we actually share some stuff on social media from time to time, like some cool macros that we think up and fun stuff to do. So make sure to look out for that. 
But I want to know from you, like, have you ever tried to automate your stream or what kind of things would you like to automate your stream or simplify your streaming life or what kind of weird client requests have you had? Let us know in the comments. If this video was helpful, give it a like and share it and be sure to subscribe for the next time we're in the lab.